Oh boy, if you're planning a wedding or uh, you know, if you're, you're married, think back to do the planning stages. What was one of the decisions that made you the most nervous that you were really, really unsure of how to make? And I'll bet you it had to do with the photographer. How in the world do you choose the right person, the right company to capture a day that uh, you, know, you can't go back and repeat? <laughs> Well, we're going to take care of that worry for you here this morning. Uh, Megan Whitney is here from True Photography. And I think once you meet Megan, you see examples of their work and you hear the offer that they have to make for you, I, I think maybe your problem is solved. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Didn't we see you here before on the show when you and your husband were, <laughs> you're on like the great, uh, great the race. The amazing race. The yeah. amazing race. Yeah. Well, it was good to see you again. Good so if you look you familiar, that's, that, that's where it's from. Um, let's talk about connecting with a company's work. I, you and I were talking off camera, that seems to be, when you're selecting a photographer, is that how you suggest they start? Look at the work first? Of course. First and foremost, you want to look at the quality, you want to look at the style, because a photographer is an artist, so um, you want to make sure that you connect with the work, you're inspired by, by the photos, you want to be in those photos. Yeah, and you, you, that's exactly what you and I were talking about. You kind of look at it and you say, well, do I picture myself in something like that or with the mood that that creates? Of is, course. Is that, is that what I want? Well, let's look at some examples. Okay, <laughs> these are some really creative shots that, uh, that you and your husband uh, put together here. Um, I, I'm guessing maybe this couple might be into motocross and that type of thing. Actually, actually not. Um, really? No. So, so on the wedding day, um, you don't have a set and you don't have a whole bunch of props. So um, you have to improvise. And we, this is actually a wedding at Serenity Oaks, Oaks Ranch in Temecula. And the valet guy rode motocross and there were some <laughs> jumps in the back. So our photographer was like, can we get you to do some cool jumps over the bride and groom? And of course, uh, they were super good sports about it. And we got this awesome sh shot, which is their favorite from the wedding. Wow, but you came yeah. up with that on the spot, yeah, which, which is really <laughs> something important for people to think about. Is your photographer going to be able to improvise and work with what's, what's there? Um, rainy days don't have to be a disaster, or quite to the contrary. Right. Um, a lot of times uh, rain and nighttime are problems for, for some photographers, but a great photographer is going to use those as an opportunity. Um, you know, we had a backlight, we had this great uh, clear uh, umbrella, it was pouring rain, we didn't get him wet, we just rushed him out there, this was in the Oregon Pavilion at, at Bobo Park. That's, so. See, that's spectacular, and that's, <laughs> that's the kind of thing, so look at the work, folks, and if the work inspires you, you know, they all will have uh, portfolios and so forth, but, but true photography has got an amazing portfolio. Look at this. <laughs> this was kind of fun, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's, all, it's always about being on your toes and expecting the unexpected. So this was uh, the cute ring bearer who, during the cocktail hour, just stole a drink of the groom's cocktail. Oh. Um, and and it's, oh. we didn't interrupt, but we just we had to capture the moment. But we also make sure to get all of those must-have um, family portraits and those candid moments and those details. But it's always great to be on your toes. Be on your toes and be, you know, be looking for that opportunity to get that special shot. Of now, course. You've got to take some responsibility, folks. You've got to talk to your photographer. You can't just like <laughs> expect everything to happen. You want folks to let you know what's important to them. Absolutely. I mean, we always say we're an open book in that um, we want to hear your thoughts. Give us inf inspiration. Um, Pinterest is a great thing. Everyone's using Pinterest. Um, and show us the look and feel you're going for, but at the same time, don't feel like you have to dictate every shot because that's why you hire someone great. Um, you don't want to interrupt the creative process. You want pictures that are all your own. And hey, people always have that list of shots where they say, course, look, I, yeah. I want separate shots with the grandmas. I want, you know, yeah. and then, but, but then you can turn those into just the, the, yeah. the stock, instead of the stock photo where everybody yeah. stands stiff as a board, yeah, you well, can maybe do a little we, something if you know about it ahead of time. Yeah, and we make sure to, sh to, sure to cover everything. So you're gonna get those family portraits. It's a balance. But we also want to get those wow shots. Okay, th that, that's a wow shot right there. I think we've got another one here that's just, it's just spectacular. We'll throw that up here in, in just a second. But again, communicate to your photographer. Of uh, look at this. Okay, th yeah. now that, that looks like it's out of a, a magazine or something, so or a this, Hollywood photo shoot. This is the classic bride. I mean, a bride is getting ready for the big day. She's looking and feeling her best. And um, she was classic. She had a Gone with the Wind themed wow. wedding. And so we wanted to get that shot that just showed off what she was going for.
Beautiful. Put put that next shot up there for me of the three girls. Look at that. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> so this is actually Adriana. She's the wife of one of our photographers. She just got married at the Ultimate Skybox downtown a couple weeks ago. And um, she's fun, flirty, always having a good time. So we found this cool, colorful backdrop in a yogurt shop and we had her uh, pose and just have some fun. Now, finally, and you try to keep this really simple with folks so that you don't overwhelm them. The, the third tip, Take time and enjoy the day. Absolutely, yes. And you you can help them do that by loosening them up uh, and assuring them that you've got everything covered. But uh, loosen up. Let them capture a little bit of that. Yeah. So actually, this was uh, my husband and I at our wedding. Um, and oh, wow. we had a, a huge bridal party downtown, and we just had fun. Um, I was actually personally sick as a dog leading up to my wedding oh. day. And I just made the decision, I'm just going to have fun. Because things happen on your wedding day cakes fall, you can prepare as much as you want up until the day, but then when it's actually the day, have fun and enjoy yourself. You'll, it'll show in the photos. And, and you know, folks want to remember, you know, it's so hard for the bride and groom, you know, they're so busy trying to do all everything they need to do and take care of all the people they need to take care of. But that right there, that, <laughs> that says, <laughs> we remember to have a good time. That's fun right there. <laughs> that's and right. That, and that's a, actually a, a wedding, um, a couple who is Scottish. They came from Scotland. They were in their full kilts and garb, and they just wanted fun. Oh. And so, of course, they instigated that photo. We, you know, they just bent over, and we captured the shot and, of course, put some happy faces on there for them. So. Oh, you added those. We added no. those. Those aren't usually there. Yeah. Okay.